going on guys? Welcome back to Chop Toys. Another one of my nice original patina trucks. This was a, I found this on a website a long time ago. I can't remember what it was, but they wholesaled just everything. And it was kind of junk site, but they had a handful of vintage Tonka trucks and I bought up everything they had. So, um, yeah, this one I believe was, it's a 61 and I believe it was part of the trailer sales set. Could be wrong. But that came with a truck like this, and the tan sportsman truck came with a horse trailer, a stake bed trailer with no fenders, and the tan pickup bed trailer for the sportsman. And the boat trailer had a boat. <laughs> Those are not an original boat. This I picked up, it was the truck and the trailer. I believe it was missing the grill when I got it, and missing the windshield, or it was broken. And it's got a new windshield. Um, the grill, a little bit of tarnish on it. it I polished it, but it needs a, a freshening up. It's been quite a few years, and I think it's got brand new headlights on it. And the boat is a reproduction. You can get those on eBay. I found them. They're about 30 bucks. Um, the motors for the boats are very hard to find. Um, I, I found one on eBay right now. I may pick up for this, but uh, the straps aftermarket. The straps in the boats never stayed with the trucks over the years because... The boats are solid plastic and they do float, and I'm sure they found their way to many a bathtub when kids were growing up. But uh, yeah, let's take a close, closer look at this thing. Alright, so out front, the bumper has been off this truck, I guess, I don't remember, I think this one might have been bent pretty bad when I got it. I think that's why I got it so cheap. So I had to pop it apart and straighten the frame. It does have the regular old pop rivets in the bumper that I replaced it with. You can buy replacement press rivets and, and like a C-clamp style thing to do it, but I never I never went that far when I was restoring them. I don't know why. Just, uh, I like the ability just to, you can drill these right out there, aluminum rivets, so just zip, zip, and then you can take the truck back apart. I'm not sure why the bumper is crooked. The whole truck's a little crooked. It does have a decent little patina on it. This corner's kind of bent in on it a little bit too, but it's a good display piece. It's the right it's not too far gone, I mean. Um, we've got a brand new windshield. The roof is on there good. A little bit of wear. Not terribly, terribly bad. On this side, you can see the stickers are all pretty good. This one's got a little dark spot on it. This one got some play. The, the tires have a little bit of slop in them. But it does still roll very well. The original hubcaps and white walls are excellent, considering how bad those white walls have aged. I'm not 100% sure the trailer is the right year. I found a picture online of a 60 trailer set, and it had different axles for the tires. And this one has the little fender, little fenders with a Tonka T, but the, the tire is different. Um, the trailer is actually really nice. The color matches exactly, so it, it, it probably goes with it for that to have held up so well. The little roller wheel on the back is perfect. Almost looks new. I didn't replace that. These little trailers were simple. You got a little metal reinforcement that acts as the axle as well. Um, again, the boat reproduction. It does say Tonka, Tonka Toys on it, stamped in it. And your little motor would clip on the back. And uh, yeah, the seats do come out. They probably should be glued in because I just dropped one earlier and I had to fish it out from under my workbench. But uh, again, this truck is missing the tailgate. We've got all the tabs for the chains and the hinges are still there and can be straightened up pretty easily. I didn't really seem to mess with this truck a whole lot when I got it. It must have uh, been a lot worse because I didn't fix it up extremely well. <laughs> but uh, it displays well. I'm not I'm not upset with it at all. Um, overall though, I like the patina. The color combo is, is one of my favorites. It's very retro. It's kind of a seafoam green, teal, blue kind of kind of thing and the little boat trailer with the little vintage fenders is it's pretty neat and it rolls as well very well little white walls those are very hard plastic tires so I thought those might be later because Tonka didn't start really getting into plastic plastic stuff until uh, mid 60s kind of but uh the strap was just a little bungee strap that was not even stretchy anymore that might is that original? I can't remember if that's original or I bought it. It is kind of loose and worn out. It may be original. It's been so long, I can't remember. 
But uh, yeah, again, another good display piece. And this truck is pretty good shape. Original tires and wheels still on it, never been off. It's got the leaf spring made into the axle. Um, you can see my pop rivets in there. Got a washer on the back side. Not the best looking thing, but it works. Not a whole lot of wear underneath there. It's tape marks and stuff from life. But a uh, really good display piece. Like I, like I said, I love the colors. I don't really know what the value of this truck at. These, you, you only ever find them completely destroyed or still in the box with the complete set. And they're very expensive that way with all the boats and all the goodies still with them. As far as the pickup itself goes, it, with the, the grill and the windshield replaced and everything, I'd say 80 to 100 bucks, maybe a little more. Could be on the low end on it. I'd probably grade this a 7. It's got enough of the paint on it to still be a 7, even though it's not perfectly straight and square. Um, throw in the trailer and the replacement boat, 130 to 150 maybe. I don't know. I'm just pulling these numbers off the top of my head. I mean, it's there's really hard to compare because I haven't bought a lot of this stuff in... 15 years so my pricing could be way low but I like to think it's not because I'm still buying stuff so I don't want them to be too expensive but uh yeah it's a nice little 61 display truck but uh stay tuned for next week's video where I have the wrong year I believe yeah I have the wrong year but I have the other truck from the trailer set <laughs> I'm kind of piecing it together but I've got the mix and matched years in the cabs but Anyways, I appreciate y'all watching, and I appreciate everybody's interest in these old toys. And um, I do have some builds planning for this channel. It's starting to get a little popular now. And uh, we're almost to 1,000 subscribers at the time this was filmed. So I'm hoping to uh, actually start putting in some time, quit just showing my old collectibles, and start actually building some custom trucks and get back to uh, all the fun stuff that I like to do with them. But I appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And... I'll see you on the next video.